super improved amphibians, immortal bacteria, two-headed space worms, and hell cells. These are five space experiments that could go very wrong. Number five, super improved amphibians. The Iberian rib newt is a variety of salamander native to the Iberian Peninsula and Morocco. In fact, it is the largest newt species in Europe. But the interesting thing is that its cell regeneration works very quickly. They also have the ability to change genus according to the needs of the species. Finally, as a defense method, they are able to stab predators with their own ribs. That's right, just as you heard it. These little creatures can pierce the skin on their sides with their sharp ribs to use as stingers. Scary, isn't it? But you know what's worse? That there are already several agencies that have sent these newts to outer space to analyze particularities of their fertility and regeneration. The results have been disturbing. Upon returning to Earth, the newts have improved their regenerative capacity by gigantic proportions. Are we creating too powerful a species? Perhaps in the short term, it's a bit exaggerated to think so. But try to imagine how things will be in about a hundred years if we keep doing experiments like this. Number four, deadly fungus. The first modular space station to be successfully launched was the Soviet Mir. And although it represents a big step in the space career, the truth is that once up there, it didn't work too well. In fact, for its entire life, the Mir station was practically a dumping ground for faulty cables and panels. But without a doubt, the worst thing that happened inside it was that apparently some kind of fungus had gotten inside at the time of launch. Once in space, it began to spread throughout the ship, generating a horrible, suffocating smell. Imagine how desperate that must be in such a hostile environment. Most frightening of all, however, the fungus began to evolve into something virtually fatal if inhaled. Luckily, the Mir station crashed into the Earth's atmosphere, almost completely disintegrating. Yes, almost. Some almost intact pieces fell into the Pacific Ocean and are still on the sea floor. Let's hope that the fungus can't withstand the depths, because otherwise, who knows what may appear on the beaches in a few years. Number 3. The NASA Bacteria Very few people know this. NASA has a serious problem with bacterium. Let's start with parts. There's a section of a lab called High Bay 1, which is considered the most sterile area on the planet. Basically, spaceships are assembled there by robots. These robots and the whole room are disinfected with alcohol in intense heat constantly. But somehow, a bacterium called SAFR-032 got in there and has managed to resist all NASA's attempts to eliminate it. High Bay 1 is actually their home. In light of the situation, it occurred to scientists that perhaps SAFR-032 would die in space, so they put a sample in a rocket and sent it up there. And yes, the bacteria died, or something like that. Apparently, space conditions are so hostile that 99.9% .9 of the bacteria died. But we all know, when it comes to bacteria, that's not enough. What's even worse is that the surviving bacteria seem to evolve quickly and are even more resistant. And NASA tries to kill the SAFR-032, sending it into space for longer and longer. And it always comes back 0.1%, but much stronger. Think for a moment that the first mission to Mars will carry this bacteria. If there is life there, it is likely that the SAFR will eradicate it completely. It would be absolutely chaotic. Number 2. The Two-Headed Space Worm in 2017, an experiment was carried out on the International Space Station. They took a group of platyhelminths, or flatworms, into space, an interesting aquatic creature with incredible regenerative qualities. They took some of them cut in half and some of them whole. Keep in mind, under normal conditions, these animals can regenerate. So if you cut one in half, each part will grow the missing section. In short, by cutting a worm in half, you will have two worms. However, there were some sections that were not expected because of the way that they had been cut. And for no apparent reason, these sections grew back, but with two heads. 
The scientists then cut off both heads and sent them back to Earth to be investigated there. But from the remaining sections, two heads grew back. Basically, scientists created the Hydra of Greek mythology, which grows two heads if you cut one off. We agree that flatworms are small and harmless, but the fact that they developed that ability with just a little bit of exposure to zero gravity makes theories start to emerge. What if they increase their size considerably? What if they become resistant to extreme conditions? Who knows, but some people are alarmed when they think of all those horror movies from the 1950s. Number 1. The Cell from Hell Think of life as a technology, are the words of NASA astrobiologist Lynn Rothschild. At first, it sounds great. Then, the possibility of creating organs from scratch and increasing the life expectancy of the population enormously comes to mind. But the truth is that perhaps the whole thing is getting out of hand. Lynn Rothschild is the director of the Hell Cell Project. To understand exactly what it is about, it is best to explain it in Dr. Rothschild's own words. You take a cell that under natural conditions can only live up to 100 degrees Celsius, and you add certain genes that allow it to withstand much higher temperatures. But then, you insert some other genes so that it can survive at zero pH, or in a really acidic environment. And you keep adding genes and genes that normally wouldn't be found together in nature. The result? A cell that can withstand virtually any environment. Alright, at one point it may sound very interesting, even cool, but do you remember number 3 on this list? When we talked about the SAFR-032 bacterium? Well, imagine that we create a literally immortal bacteria that starts to multiply and gets out of control. There would be no possible way to eliminate it, except maybe to send it straight into the sun. But let's face it, we've seen this too much in fiction, and it never ends well. Human ambition can lead to frightening experiences. Even more frightening experiments than these have already been done in the world. Do you want to know what they are? Here's a video about it. 